Hi, I'm George from CityGen. What you're looking at is a procedurally generated city using CityGen 2.1, the Blender add-on. In this case, I've used assets from a single scene from Dash Studio. I actually dissected the scene to extract the streets, props, and buildings. And I used a few cards from the transportation add-on and some mocap animations from Mixamo. So if you have all your assets with you, you might be able to create a game level like this within a few hours. Basically, what you need to do is to organize all your assets into a single CityGen asset pack and import the file with a single click and review how they look in CityGen and make some adjustments if needed. And you're done. Now you can either set up the animation cameras and render the video or you can export the city to Unreal Engine as a game level. So let's explore how to do it using CityGen 2.1. First, we need to open up the import template file. It's named buildings to import prep.blend. And if we open up, open up the file, you will see the uh, reference assets to which you can um, adjust the size and rotations of your new assets too. And each category has two folders. One is to replace and another is to add. If you put your new assets under add uh, folders, it will add your assets to uh, existing solution assets. Or if you put your new assets under this replace folder, like this replace custom buildings, uh, buildings folder, then it will replace uh, the existing assets with uh, the new ones that you put in here. Let's try to replace these uh, biggest buildings. Uh, custom buildings big uh, is the place for re uh, replacing the uh, biggest building blocks. Let's import uh, your custom buildings uh, to here. And it's been organized uh, into these folders. Check out if the size matches with the existing street uh, props. Once you are satisfied. Oh, and in this uh, stage, at this stage, you can add uh, collision boxes for the new at new access. The collision boxes is it should be prefixed uh, with uh, with uh, the capital U C X under score and and remove uh, the add folder and let's go to uh, the mid size buildings and let's and remove the uh, add folder uh, import size buildings and move them to under the folder replace and check out if the size and rotation matches with the street um, reference access reference streets and be sure to remove um, if, if not if you're not if you're going to replace your assets then remove the add folders don't leave them there. In the case of the smallest uh, blocks, uh, it, it doesn't have uh, the smallest street uh, reference does not have uh, street lamps uh, or any significant things uh, that you can compare its size and rotations to. So you'd, you'd better use the uh, reference street from the mid-size building. So, once you are satisfied with the look of the smallest building, you're done. And now it's time to uh, import the new cars.
this is the transportation add-on and one thing uh, preferable about the transportation add-on is that it has low poly versions and import them and adjust this you can it better adjust this size uh, using the reference uh, cars left in the folders um, adjust their rotations and put them under uh, the folder replace cars and remove the uh, no if it looks okay then you can better remove you should remove the reference cars if you're going to replace them completely and now go to the pedestrians uh, we have four reference pedestrians and this is showing just one of them and now let's import your custom pedestrians see the uh, size and rotation needs to be adjusted to match the reference pedestrians it says the size and rotations uh, adjust the size and rotations and put them under put them to put them under replace pedestrians and remove the remove all other irrelevant folders and let's do the same with the sitting and talking people using the existing reference uh, reference assets uh, adjust the size and rotations and put them under replace and remove all the other uh, others that are they will not be used in the, that you don't want to see in the city gen result now let's do the same with uh, standing people import your custom ss and adjust the size and rotations to match with the existing reference ss and then remove the reference ss and move them to under replace standing after removing or other irrelevant folders now unless it's time to replace the street lights it's the same basically what you need to do is to put them under uh, the folder either replace or add and adjust the size and rotations to using the reference assets and remove the reference assets and folders now it's, uh, it's time to import the sidewalk sidewalks composed of two things the sidewalk corners and sidewalk blocks it's gonna be it's kind of tricky so you should, mat, you should adjust your assets to the existing reference assets and once you're done it's time to let's uh, import the uh, traffic signs using the reference uh, traffic sign adjust your new assets and here you can see the uh, add folder is gone meaning you are trying to you are replacing the traffic at traffic sign not adding them now let's replace the street props such as the uh, trash cans things that you want to see on the streets uh, on the sidewalks and while doing it you can add uh, the, the uh, collision boxes for your props and one thing to be one thing to take note of is if 
the collision box, uh, the rotations and sizes of the collision box is not the same with the corresponding objects. You'll have problem later when imported into the Unreal Engine 5. Like here, you see the uh, street props uh, is standing and the collision box is lying, lying on the ground. How to fix it? Uh, this is uh, this is one way. Combine the collision box with the street props, uh, corresponding street prop. After combining, separate the collision box from the main object as a separate object. Then they'll end up having this identical locations, rotations, and scale. And if you import them into the Unreal Engine, later uh, you'll have correct collisions. See? Now they have correct rotation. Now going back to the import file, it's time to replace the, the ground, the, the, the road. The road is actually composed of, uh, it can be composed, it can be divided into three parts. Uh, horizontal, and vertical, and crossroad. Um, here you can see I'm trying to use the uh, uh, roads components from DAS assets, including using the bridges along with it. If you, in this uh, manner, you'll have rows with bridges all over. You can remove the bridge um, anytime from is from this folder. So put uh, put these under the replace corresponding replace folder, and see there's uh, road uh, replace road cross vertical and horizontal, and save it and save the file. And remember, remember the name um, of this import uh, pack and go to Citizen and it, you'd better start with the lowest unit, the smallest size of the smallest project um, for import process. And since you can change the size later, so click select and import building, building pack and choose uh, the building pack that you just made. And that's it. You're done. They're imported. So the next thing to do is to check if the assets have been imported properly. And if not, go back to your import template again and fix the parts and come back to this file and click that import button and Citizen will automatically update the assets and that's done. Once you're done, now you can enlarge the scene and set up the scene uh, the way you want it to look like and export, you can either export the file, export the scene, Citizen uh, scene uh, as an Unreal Engine game level or you can set up the cameras and render out a video. So in the next tutorial, uh, let's discuss how to export this scene made up of custom uh, SS as an Unreal Engine game level. See you then.